Welcome back to Sports Showtime. I'm now joined in the forum by Sports Showtime reporters Abby Terrio and Tim Zimmer to talk about a trio of topics around the LSU sports world. Starting out on the diamond, the LSU baseball team not only lost their first game, they also dropped their first weekend series, which now brings a lot of questions for Coach Paul Maneri and his club to answer. Will they learn to hit a powerful lefty pitcher? Who's going to step up to be the Saturday starter? And will this team learn to hit with runners in scoring position? And what is the biggest concern at this point for the Tigers? Well, I really don't have many concerns for this team. First of all, LSU faced a pitcher on Sunday that threw the game of his life, and the Tigers weren't able to get any hits. Besides Bertasini, the pitching staff has been great. I just think LSU didn't see this one coming. The Tigers need to focus on hitting the ball, the base hits, and the home runs will come along with it. Finally, I think LSU has final Saturday pitcher in Matulis. But with him being only a freshman, we'll have to see. Well, I definitely agree with you, Tim, in regards to Matulis and hitting. Despite the lack of hitting on Friday and Sunday, though, Saturday the Tigers showed that they could connect with the ball. Before this weekend, there wasn't anything negative to say about batting for LSU. Hopefully, we see more hitting in games to come, and they pick back up that pace they had going. Again, I agree with Tim in that Matulis proved himself Saturday, and I'm taking into consideration him being a freshman. But a few of the other relief pitchers for the Tigers are freshmen, and they shouldn't be underestimated because of their classification, especially because they are all producing. All right, another team not quite playing to their rankings, the LSU men's basketball team. They once again looked awful as they fell Auburn on Saturday for their first two-game losing streak of the season. Abby, is this a legit concern for the Tigers heading into the weekend, or just a team coasting after clinching the SEC against Kentucky? Well, I'm hoping that this was just coasting. Hopefully LSU will play Ole Miss or Kentucky with the attitude and stamina we've seen in previous games this season, and we won't have to worry. Trent Johnson has done an outstanding job so far this season, and I'm only looking ahead now to hopefully more SEC wins in the tournament. I think Coach Johnson is a good tournament coach and knows what he is doing in big games. In the games that count when LSU needs to make a comeback, I don't doubt that the Tigers can do it. Their only obstacle would be a big, strong, opposing man at the post. Well, obviously, you want to give big props to what Coach Johnson has done this year. But I think this is an LSU team that's already won the SEC Conference. They have to play, they've, they've played the last past two games with nothing to lose. And even if LSU would have won one or two games, it wouldn't have made a huge difference. With all respect to Delwan Graham, Coach Johnson got a, him and other young players involved in the first half of the Auburn game. I know for a fact you will not see him during the court during the NCAA tournament unless the team is in foul trouble. Look for LSU to make a run in the SEC tournament with the focus they had throughout the regular season. And if they happen to fall to Ole Miss or Kentucky, they may see may want to start worrying about the Tigers' fatigue setting in. All right, the men's basketball team takes on the winner of Kentucky and Ole Miss on Friday. Speaking of the SEC tournament, the Lady Tigers were unable to keep their SEC winning streak alive and dropped a tough game to Vanderbilt. What type of seed do you, do you guys see the ladies getting in the NCAA tournament, Tim? Well, LSU is hosting a regional in the tournament, so if they do get a seed, a lucky draw, then they'll probably end up with an eight seed. Getting that seed will stir a little trouble for LSU. Most likely, they'll play a one seed. That one seed will most likely be Duke or Louisville. So the Tigers will have their hands full with or without the home crowd. Definitely, Tim. I believe either way it goes, the Tigers really need to be prepared. No matter if it's an eight seed or a one seed, the Tigers will need to step up their game and produce. Having the game at home always seems beneficial, especially because of our Tiger fans. But facing a team like Duke or Louisville will be interesting. Challenge for our Lady Tigers. Lady Tiger basketball is definitely something to look forward to. All right, guys. Well, thanks for coming in and discussing these high topics in LSU sports. Hopefully, the sports guys will shine a little light on us next, in the next couple weeks, and we'll do a little bit better. It's time for a word from our sponsors. But stay tuned. Our top five plays of the week is next. This is Sports Showtime on Tiger TV. All right, welcome back to Sports Showtime. Now it's time for our top five plays. Play number five catches Sean Ochico, catches somebody doing something naughty, trying to steal second base on him. He shows off his rocket arm here as he gets the guy out. In at number four, we had to give you a trio from plays, plays from the basketball team. They were so good. Little Marcus Thornton dumps a Chris Johnson in the lane. Then coming back down, Marcus Thornton's going to go up here with a nice put back. He dribbles in and up, oh, and it's a layup. Then for our third play of the evening, Quinn Thornton takes it to the lane for a nice, oh, there's a dunk. They were on fire. Play number three, we normally don't give guys two plays, you know, since we only have five, but Sean Ochinko comes in with one highlight play for this game. His home run in the ninth, his fourth home run of the season, would give the Tigers a little something to brag on, they still went on the lose. And at number two, we couldn't give it to an LSU athlete because Quick Change was on fire at the PMAC. 
How did she do that, Brian? I don't know, but he needs to take that shirt off. I, I think he's looking in it, actually. It, it might bring out the, the brown in my eyes, I guess, later. <laughs> It definitely will hook that up. All right, play, uh, play number one, Ashley Claire Kearney. I've been rooting for this girl all season. Finally, she comes through with a 10. She's got 995, 9975. Now she comes in with a 10 on vault. That's her favorite. Hope she's, hopefully, she'll take it and the national title. Well, that's going to do it for us here at LSU Sports Showtime. You can catch the rebroadcast of this show on Tiger TV tonight at 6.30. Or if you're off campus, you can catch us on Cox Channel 4 at 11.30 and WBTR Channel 19 at midnight. You can also check us out on the web at www.tigertv.tv. From all of us here at Sports Showtime, have a great day. Tune in to the liveest game coming to round. We're talking LSU sports, showtime in the towns. Get the scoop on the ball and sneak peek on the track. Key in on the field when them Tigers attack. In fact, you get it back a few times a week. But it starts on Tuesday, third day of the week. They're beasts when they broadcast. Increase like a fall class. Critique when I speak by my squad in the quad, man. Yeah, they the stars on the quad, man. That's the TBC, Tiger TV people. Every game, every star, every player, every situation they face in the star in the making. And you get it first exclusively. Yeah, look at